Okay, now, a little bit of a change in the rundown plans for the day, but I'll explain that, and the boys will explain it in a moment. Joey and John from the Uncanny Axe Welcome in. Good to see you again, Joe. Good to see you. Listen, John. do you want to tell us where Manning's got to? Oh, well, he had a bit of a heavy night last night. I guess he. We got whisked, we got whisked in here anyway, rather than Brian. And so he decided <laughs> to have a little rest. Good yeah. morning. Yeah. How are you, Brian? <laughs> Hi, Brian. I guess you're pleased. Uh, the reported. I was going to start with Brian to ask, and I'll ask you guys anyway. The reported rivalry. There's been a lot written in the papers about, you know, X Men against so and so, and they're not talking to each other. Is that true? Oh, no, not or at is all. all no, I think it's just everybody else around the band is having a bit of fun, I think. Uh-huh. It's certainly got nothing to do with the bands. Would you think that sometimes maybe the fan clubs get a bit yeah, strong so. for each yeah, band? Yeah. yeah, I think it's that's the, the case, yeah. Right, so it's more a fan club problem. Yeah. Well, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, do you go and mix with other people in other bands? Are you oh, yeah, quite friendly absolutely. with people in the business? Absolutely, Donnie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, whoever's friendly with me, I'm friendly back. So yeah. there is none of that. Rubbish. Oh, not fan clubs just have a bit of fun with each other, really, don't they? Mm. It's probably healthy. Yeah, <laughs> good, healthy, clean, yeah. young fun. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us this one, because I was going to ask him anyway. What is Brian really like away from stage and out of the public view? How do you find him? Exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I think he's, you know, he's just the, the same as you know, and any other normal person that's in the business making it's a dollar. Yeah. Has his quiet times, has his yeah. Yeah. rowdy times, yeah. all that. He's not one of those that go and recluse or anything. He is quite no. bubbly and, oh, yeah, and for up sure, all the yeah. time. Yeah. That you just said, making a dollar, the new big international recording deal. Explain what that's about. Well, it's um, basically we've signed to CBS for an amount of albums that um, is at their discretion as long as we keep making good ones. So. Ah, I'm oh, sorry, so you don't know the exact number? Mm, well, no. No, you know, it's, uh -huh. it's one. It's, one option after another, I guess, as the albums are recorded. Speaking of that dollar, is is it a good contract dollar oh, it's, a, it's a fabulous contract, certainly better than the than our first deal, which is um, you know a pretty standard type of situation in right. your first deal. The band's obviously had a little bit more bargaining power this time around. So mm. uh, Rolls Royces, Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> no, no Rolls and Mercedes. Joe, you're the new guy. Why did the other fella leave Ron? Why did he go? Um, well. I don't, to be honest, I don't really know exactly why, uh, apart from the fact that he got married, moved to Sydney. Right. Um, Logistics more than anything else. Yeah, I couldn't really tell you the exact reason, except that, as I say, you know, he got married. I'd say that had a lot to do with it, getting married and making the move up yeah. here and all that, because the you, boys, the band's from Melbourne. You so. actually worked in a lot of well-known bands already. A few. How do you just, find this one? Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. The X-Men are rocking, let me tell you, Don. Having a good oh, time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, I'll tell them where in a moment. But first, we've got three questions from the audience. I'll take them real quick, girls, if I can. Louise, first, if you could ask your question. Um, whereabouts did you make the film clip for I Am, the single? Oh, well, I can take that yeah, one, Johnny, yeah. seen as uh, I know. Uh, it was made in Spotswood in Victoria, an old sewerage farm that was used... <laughs> Back and it was a bit, yeah. Yeah, it did get, it got a bit smelly at times. At times. Bit changed direction it, uh, there. It was an old sewerage farm that was used in the 30s. Really, really old place. Thank God we don't have smell vision <laughs> <laughs> All right, Francesca. Um, what's been your most embarrassing moment with Uncanny X-Men? Oh, that's pretty easy. A lot of Melbourne viewers that uh, are watching will probably remember if they were, attended the Cos Life Hurts tour and we came out for an encore. I got hooked up on Ronnie's guitar lead and sort of sat there. Didn't fall, but sat there with it on the edge of my foot, just sort of popping up and down. And that was that really was embarrassing, embarrassing in front of 16. <laughs> all right, Belinda? Where do you get all the ideas for your songs from? Oh, I think every day situations. Yeah, you know? just, you know, yeah, every just day. What happens around you, I suppose. People and people you meet and things you do. Yeah. The guys will be with Wawani and Machinations at Bankstown RSL tonight. Yeah. 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 Try and get there. And tomorrow, Wonderland. Yeah. Wish you well and thank you for coming. When do we see the next album? Do you know roughly? I'd say late September, all going well. It should be out. Looking forward September. to it. And can I say hello to everybody at home, please, Donnie? Sure can, yeah. Joey. <laughs> Joey and John from the Uncanny Edge. Here they are on clip with I Am.